Hey, what's up you guys, and welcome back to the farm. So, today we are going to see if we can't finish up our corn harvest, or at least come close to it. Um, and just kind of see, I guess, how much we can get done. Uh, if you remember in the previous video, uh, which you saw at the same time as this one, uh, we just... We left off exactly where, yeah, I just picked up exactly where I left off yesterday, uh, or earlier, I guess you could say, uh, and if you remember, we had a little issue with this unloading of the gravity wagon, uh, it for whatever reason did not want to, so we had to drive the bobcat over here and, uh, take care of our little mess of spilled corn. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and then I'm just going to split this field open. Just going to split it somewhat down the middle if I can. Somewhere in the middle, I guess. Probably not exact middle, but it'll be close enough. We are already a quarter of the way full. Uh, I am pretty happy with the way that this corn is yielding. Uh, it does seem to be yielding fairly well. So we'll have a pretty decent amount of corn to be able to sell. Uh, corn is going to make us the most money since that's what we have the most of. I mean, we do have a decent amount of soybeans and a decent amount of wheat, but nowhere near as much as uh, the corn. So I am hoping, I know I think I mentioned this a time or two before, that uh, I am hoping to expand our operation for next season, uh, looking into running, f adding field, 20 s fields, 26, um, 9, well, let's see, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 26 to our uh, mix of fields here and that'll really expand our uh, land by a lot um, I mean a tremendous amount it's probably gonna double it at least uh, I mean of course you know like let's see field 10 is pretty little field 6 is also pretty little but you know field 7 is pretty decent uh, 9 is really good sized 11 even isn't really that bad uh, neither is 5 26 is a pretty decent sized field um, and so we'll try that next season kind of see how that goes uh, I think for next season instead of having three fertilization states uh, I'm just gonna set it down to one and where we only got to fertilize one time just cuz the three gets a little hectic uh, with these, you know, the growth cycles not really kind of going with it. Um, you know, it didn't really work out this season. Or this year, I guess. It kind of... Things kind of went a little haywire, I guess. So... We'll just stick to one, I think, for next year. And just kind of see how that goes. Um, I don't think it makes a difference if you fertilize if I don't think it makes a difference if you set it to um, one fertilizer state or three fertilizer states I don't think that actually makes a difference that might be something that I may have to test out actually I may may actually have to test that out just to kinda try it and see you know pick a field on this map and do you know one harvest with 
one fertilizer state and one harvest with three and just compare yields and kind of see what you know what made a difference you know of course everything will be the same um, you know with periodic plowing on and having plowed and all of that stuff um, just make sure you know making sure everything is exactly the same same field same crop same fertilizer you know obviously it's the same but um, you know I guess you know the same fertilizer because I guess I could use manure or slurry or whatever but anyway you know just using making everything exactly the same and just kind of seeing you know how it if it's the same or if it's different if so you know was it better with one state or three states or you know how did that work and just kind of figure that out because if it makes you know if you get a better yield with three states then I'd probably leave that on and I'll stick to it but you know if there's not a difference between the two then I would just put it to one because it'd be a little easier and a little nicer kind of as well so but I mean that's just me I guess as you know some other people may enjoy doing the three you know but I don't know I guess it does also help um, I heard that you know if you cultivate with chop straw uh, it does add two growth or two fertilizer states right away so then you'd only have to spray once so I might look into that too but for you know for the first you know like once we switch over to the new map or the updated map um, you know I'll I'll change it to one because there isn't gonna be any chop straw you know there will be the uh, the um, the stubble but there won't be any chop straw because you know it basically just withered the crops in a way um, you know set them you know with seasons mod when you start a new save game it just sets things down to the uh, harvested state so so yeah we should be able to start selling grain uh, in the next video because I think we're gonna be able to finish up our harvest uh, I still got yeah I still got like 22 minutes on the timer so we should be should have plenty of time to finish up oops, to finish up this harvest and I don't want to miss corn it's yielding very well and I want to get the most money that I can but uh <clears throat> um, yeah, we should be able to finish this pretty easily in this video. Oh my goodness. I'm not going back to that a little bit. Heck with it. But uh, we should be able to finish in this video and then get everything cleaned up and everything parked back where it goes. And, um, and then we'll be all set up and ready and cozy for winter. And then I'll probably, I'll probably just fast forward. Uh, either until I hit a great demand or until I hit winter time and have snow on the ground um, and then maybe maybe I'll stop fast forwarding there but I'll have to see I guess whichever comes first whether it's a great demand for one of our three crops or a uh, snowstorm whichever just so happens to occur first so we'll combine this little patch here now so we'll have one more full wagon load to pull out of here and then between you know that's with what's in there so we'll be able to fill that once you know finish filling that gravity wagon and then we should maybe have I don't know maybe a 30 to 50 percent full gravity wagon be awesome to have another full gravity wagon but I don't foresee that actually happening 
because our wagon is 70% full now so it'll take one more unload from the combine uh, so once we finish up this little patch here I'll probably unload it or something or maybe I guess even when I get up there uh, I'll just swing over and top it off and then we'll just combine as much as we can until this fills and then we'll unload that and come back this topped off so we should fill the combine maybe once or once or twice more uh, definitely no more than twice but we'll definitely fill it again I would think maybe I don't know there isn't that much left I think it's usually taking about three or four full passes so And that actually didn't quite fill that, so there is a little bit of room left in there. Uh, not a super huge amount of room, but there is room left in there. So we do have a little bit of wiggle room that we can unload a little bit. Whoa! I forgot about that. Turn it helper off. Thank you very much. So I'm just going to use this little spot to get the thumbnail picture. Ah, oh, I didn't want to take that one. Darn it. <laughs> oh well. I can just delete it. stupid AI extension. I need to just delete it. I never actually use it even. Okay, this is really annoying. Go away. Oh, that's right. I need to turn this on first. Then I can turn it off. Oh, it's so ridiculously annoying. I downloaded it thinking it would be like auto tractor or auto combine kind of, but in a sense it somewhat is, but it's not. I mean, I would, I wish that auto combine and auto tractor were converted over, but sadly they are not yet, uh, but maybe they will be in the future. Hard to say, I guess. It'd be awesome if they were, because I liked using auto combine for combining better than course play because auto combine didn't really miss much I never really did use auto tractor a whole lot um, I more so just used auto combine and course play uh, but you know I guess I always I always like to use like course play and stuff for my plows and cultivators and whatnot else but I very rarely ever actually use the uh, standard or hired worker. Oh, we just hit the red for our fuel level. Can we get all of this in one? No, I didn't think so. We need about a two row. Our header needs to be about two rows bigger. I think we have an eight row right now. Pretty sure is what we have. Yeah, an eight row. Um, I think I did download like a twelve row header. That's a like four row. So there's a twelve row. This is a six. So that's smaller. That's another twelve. That's too big. Uh, I don't know, maybe not. It's too big for this combine, but... 
We'll have to see how much money we end up with. Maybe we can upgrade our combine. We'll see how much time we have left in this video after we get you know, everything wrapped up. Uh, maybe in this video we'll kind of show you guys some of the things that I'm thinking of uh, upgrading to. Um, in terms of equipment, you know, for like a plow and um, stuff like that. Uh, I'm thinking of getting like, you know, a new plow for sure. Uh, and then, depending on which one I get, we may be able to sell the cultivator. Because uh, I'm thinking of getting the summers... Uh, the summers thing, whatever it is, the, uh, yeah, the summers plow, and that one it plows and cultivates at the same time, so, um, that would be nice, because then we could sell our cultivator, and then that would give us even a little extra more money, a little more extra money. Uh, to have and then um, you know I want to get I want to trade off uh, whichever of our tractors is the smaller I think it's the 80 the 1206 I mean I'm pretty sure the 1206 is the smaller of our two smaller tractors uh, so upgrading that one to maybe like a maybe a John Deere or something like that uh, I did get a 7600. Um, for a project that me and a buddy are working on, uh, we're in the very early stages of working on, but I do have a 7600, that's 140 horsepower, and I think that's bigger than our tractors that we have, yeah, so it's a little bigger than the case, so might look into getting that. But uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, so we'll just top this off. And then we'll, uh, we'll just drive this over and then we'll just stick the pipe over the gravity wagon while it unloads and we'll finish unloading that in that way. Thing is sure small when it's all folded up. Makes the combine seem just massive. So we'll just make sure everything's cleaned up. We'll make sure everything's full of fuel. And then... Uh, we'll be able to get everything put away and whatnot. And then I'll I'll do the figuring off camera uh, for our yield and whatnot. Then I don't have to waste time doing that in the video. Uh, I mean, you guys have seen the process once or twice already, and it's the same process. So I guess I don't really need to go over it again. We got enough other stuff to get done right now. I know that's a very unrealistic cross scene to do, but. I don't really care. I want to get this stuff put away and taken care of. I don't want to spend forever messing with it. Okay, so then we'll get this set up. this up, uh, that unloading, that unloading, and we got to try and hurry up to grab a screenshot for things, there we go, perfect, okay, so now we got some stuff to move here first, 
to make some room uh, so we can put that header trailer away. This is just going to get back straight up back here. That's where that'll sit. We're gonna grab this and we're just gonna basically put it beside the tank instead of in front of it. Put this right here for now. Alright, so we'll start off with this guy. Whoops. We'll get him refueling. still had a little bit of corn in there. Now we'll pull this guy up and get it refueling as well. Alright, so now we can fold that up. And pull this forward. Let's see here. I need to get this brought all the way up here so that it lines up. Huh. And then we can drop this down. So I'm just going to leave that little logger sit right there, because um, we'll need it fairly soon anyways, so uh, it can just sit right there. Maybe I will move it under cover of something, maybe. Uh, I'll have to see, I guess. It should be alright there, though. Ooh, I nearly took out the mailbox. We still have our straw in the field, evidently. That'll be one nice thing about moving over to the updated version of the map. That straw won't be piled there like that. Not that it would matter if we stayed on this save game, because by the time we got to spring, I'm pretty sure that would rot away anyways. And if it didn't, then you know, we'd do something about it, I guess. I don't know what, but... Probably have to rent a baler and bale it up, or rent a forage wagon and just make a giant pile of it in the middle of nowhere. That would work too. So this thing's still pretty clean, so it just needs fuel and then it can get put away. We'll get this guy refueling and then I'm going to go over here and get our doors opened up. <clears throat> so that way we can get ready to put our machines in here. Alright, so now let's wash this guy up. There it goes. Now it's cleaning up. 
don't think this is actually too dirty. Not really, but it is dirty. It's gonna get washed up. All right, now we'll go. Really, AI extension. Guess I just need to leave that on. There we go. Uh, yep, definitely deleting that after I close the game. Because that thing is highly annoying. So this I'm just going to drop right inside the... Well, uh, we'll just drop it beside the bin, I guess. I was going to drop it just inside the chicken area there, but... Or the old foundation of whatever. But... We'll just leave it there, I guess. We got plenty of room to maneuver the uh, header trailer out, so I guess that's all that matters. Alright, now we gotta make sure we put this in just barely enough for that. So that way we still have plenty of room uh, to maneuver our PGA trailer. Okay, so now put this guy away. Sixty-one dollars to fuel this up. It was eight hundred and fifty-one to fuel the combine. So then we'll get this backed in on this side here. And then we'll be able to slip our case in uh, beside the PJ there. Kind of curious as to how much the fuel was for this thing. Oh. It must have been uh, incorporated into the price for the combine. I bet you those two probably were the same price. Or not the same price, but their price was combined. You know, the individual prices of fuel for each one is just made into one price, which is which works, I guess. So our wagon, if it does have a dirt skin, I don't notice anything yet. So no. so I will look. We'll look here once we unhook this at uh, how much corn we ended up with here. We ended with 75,871, so pretty decent amount actually. We should, uh, should be able to get a fair amount of money from it. Uh, I'll bring the Bobcat back off camera because I want to show you guys some of the things that I'm thinking of upgrading or what I'm wanting to upgrade and show you what I want to upgrade to. So the first thing that I want to upgrade is our plow. Uh, the one that I'm thinking of getting is this right here, the Summer's Disc. Uh, this cultivates and plows at the same time, and it requires 400 horsepower. So um, we're a little on the low end with our big international, but if we got that, I'd probably upgrade uh, our international to maybe like, I don't know, maybe this guy or something. No, those don't go big enough. Um, what other older John Deere, big John Deere's do I have here? 70, 20, 150, 180. Those are all pretty small. Uh, we could go with this guy maybe. Oh no, that's 330. So that's actually smaller.
Hmm. We got the 8440. That's 590 horsepower. What? Okay, that says 215. Oh, 590 liters of fuel. Okay. I was going to say, holy smokes, I think that's way off. So, we could get a 9400. That's not quite 400 horsepower. Oh, yeah. There's a four. Chip 9400. So that does come pretty powerful. That's just just under 400 horsepower so that would be big enough uh ooh, we could actually go with one of these guys maybe even let me see one of these versatiles would work i know i've used these before i've used one of these on uh see that goes to 350 this goes to 310 and this is 220. So it was it was this one, and I got the 1977-950, and that pulled it just fine, even though it's you know underrated technically. But so probably trade in our uh, international for um, you know the 950, and then get the summer's disc. So then we could also get rid of. Uh, this cultivator, since we cultivate and plow in one pass. Uh, planters. Um, I don't know. I think we might be okay with our drill for now. You know, our drill setup. Uh, or maybe we could upgrade to this one. We'll see. But uh, the corn planter, I definitely am going to upgrade. And we're going to get the uh, Vatterstad one here. Um, let's see, our sprayer is okay, and then, uh, like I said, maybe getting the 7600 for, um, another tractor, and then getting rid of our 1206. Um, got a lot of responses about, uh, what I should get, like a grain truck and whatnot, and, um, or get, like, a small semi and get the, uh, Neville hopper trailer and uh so more you know the few people that did respond uh re said you know get the grain truck and then just pull the gravity wagon behind it so we'll probably do that uh combines can maybe upgrade could get maybe the TR-99 um, and then I don't think we can get a bigger header let's see we got the 12 row so unless we can mix like maybe this 35 foot header uh, with it that would be about the only way that we could do it because we have a 25 foot right now so or, let's see, what's the smallest Macdon? That's a 35-footer, so we could get, like, the small Macdon and then get, like, uh, you know, the 12-row corn head and then get maybe this sunflower header or something. Um, so that would probably be about all that I'd want to upgrade, you know, get new combine and stuff like that. So I'll look into how much all of that would be. You know, I'll decide exactly what I want to trade in for what and then figure out, you know, I'll just calculate kind of like if I were to sell, if I were to go like this to sell it, you know, and click yes, just figure out with that price, uh, you know, and of course I would sell everything directly, so that would give more money, but, um, you know, and just kind of figure that out and then figure out how much it would cost to buy all the equipment. And then, of course, we do have our grain to sell as well. Plus, we could, I'm pretty sure, take out a loan. Yeah, we could take out a loan, uh, you know, to make sure if, that we could upgrade to those certain machines or whatever. But, um, but yeah, so 
that's gonna do it for today guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fast forward until uh, either a great demand or uh, winter whichever hits first and then uh, we'll be back uh, for another video so thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.